Hey there, this is Brad from FirstSightGuide.com, and in this video, I'll be going through and comparing WordPress.com and Tumblr.com, two free online blogging platforms. We'll go through some of the reasons to use these services, as well as the downsides. If you're ready, let's get started. To start, let's run through what each service offers, and then we'll compare the two. As for WordPress.com, the service allows you to sign up and run a free blog hosted on WordPress's platform. You'll have a full-featured dashboard with the ability to publish posts, pages, and use the rest of the features behind the scenes, including selecting your theme, which will adjust the look and feel of your new blog. To publish your first post, you'll hover over Posts on the left, and then click on Add New. Here, you'd enter in your post title, the content, and then use the editor to style and make changes before publishing. On Tumblr.com, you'll sign up on this page and then have access to a more simple dashboard that will give you a handful of different options, like posting a blog post, photos, a quote, link, and more. You can also play around with customizing your blog with a different theme and layout, as well as search around and follow other blogs that are hosted on the Tumblr platform. To publish your first post, you'd click on text, and then use the editor to add a title, your content, style your content, and then click on the blue post button to publish it. Now, let's take a deeper look at some of the included features and compare them to what you're offered with a different platform or even a self-hosted setup. Since both of these are free services, neither include a domain name for your new blog, which is a downside if you plan to change it later on. For example, on WordPress, that means your blog will be at yourusername.wordpress.com. On Tumblr, it'll be yourblogusername.tumblr.com. As I mentioned, if you're publishing posts and building up search engine rankings, your authority and followers, it's going to be a headache to switch everything over in the future, so you may want to keep that in mind if you plan to be more serious with your blog. While both WordPress and Tumblr have many different themes available, WordPress tends to have better support on both their free and paid premium themes, as well as additional flexibility of changing hosting platforms later on for more control. Both platforms also offer premium themes that may fit best for different topics, niches, and verticals. Sometimes these themes will also offer different features with updates from the theme creators in the future as well. In the end, the platform you choose is going to need to be based on your unique needs and preferences. Choosing the WordPress.com or Tumblr.com platform will work well if you're casually blogging, but if you're looking to get more serious, hosting your own version with your own domain name on your own hosting account gives you the most control and flexibility. If you'd like more information on starting your own self-hosted WordPress blog, or you have any website questions, we'd be happy to help you out. We have a full guide on how to start your own WordPress blog on firstsiteguide.com so feel free to hop on over now to check it out. Take care and enjoy starting your new blog.